Hey everyone, it's Hydropump here. Today I'll be going over the replays from my top 8 finish at the Rivet Tournament with Chrisius Horn here. Uh, this is the deck list I played. Of course I had the deck profile uh, with the real life cards and er everything. And I was also talking to ProStorm uh, when going through the deck. But I had that uh, video on the channel already so you can check those out but yeah we're just gonna go through the replays and you know do a, like a replay review so i believe it was eight rounds and then top eight so we have a lot of matches here I'll try to go through them as quick as possible so we're playing as chamber in round one and unfortunately i did not have world of cream in my side deck at dust tornadoes now i'm not sure what they're playing they're not sure what i'm playing so I just opted to set hamster and pass, even though I have recharge and you know setting four. It's not you know, they could just have Psalm set, but uh they could also just have Starlight Road and that went you know go bolt go too well, you know. And then also I don't want to mill all my Rekos to make hamster dead, so they just pass and we're gonna, you know. Flip the hamster, get the Reiko, and yeah, maybe I should. Oh, maybe I just didn't want. I was trying to see why not to set Reiko or send the Reiko, not the Lila. Yeah, I figure I'd just draw into another Lila. Anyways, we uh, solar recharged a couple times. We. Um... Got some light horns in the grave here. Unfortunately, mill charge, but we got JD in there. And we're just gonna go in with hamster. Gold Sark for JD. It's another. Oh. Oh, he's chaining all this stuff to Sark. Okay. That's fine. So, yeah, now I realize I was playing as Chainburn. I set Reiko. He drops Lava Golem, which is not fun. So I took a thousand from the lava golem. And you know, we're just gonna try to clear away some of these back row. Because next turn we have JD coming out, so it's essentially gonna be another heavy storm, so we can just heavy storm now. See if we can get any cards that aren't chainable out of the way. And cold wave, we drew another gold sark, so now we can get cold wave, and that's really good against Chamber. Uh yeah, so we drew Christia, which is great. Take another thousand, build three more, summon JD, and then we get a normal summon Christia, and that's gonna be enough for game. And sitting with <laughs> sitting there with two battle faders. Maybe they should. I think they had scapegoat hand. Maybe they should have set that. But I guess they weren't expecting Christia, but. Christia's horn, so you should probably expect Christia. So I mean, that was a. Uh, well, I guess I could have. Yeah, it wouldn't have been enough for game, but. I don't, know, I don't know if they were winning that one, anyways. Even if they did set the scapegoat. So. I think they just drew and pass? Oh, yeah, they got seven in hand. Okay, so. Yeah, they don't really have chainables, they just have a bunch of, like, threatening wars and. Magical cylinder card, so not a whole lot going on. Um, did not fire the recharge. I think I was trying to not mill a wolf, just so I wouldn't get lava gold. <laughs> oh yeah, I cited an ore because it's good for a battle fader, so that's. Um, yeah, so we discard Arcuus here. T-Roar, and then we ultimately, we milled the wolf, so. Yeah, of course, there's Lava Golem, and we just don't turn the uh, Dimension Wall. <clears throat> so we summon Orb, just so we can just attack through their field, or their hand. And yeah, they're gonna have to set some stuff now. 
Let's bring down Lila. Start swinging. And yeah, it wouldn't have been enough for game. So I guess that's why I did a heavy storm. And now they said all their stuff, so probably fire the heavy storm now. Maybe summon Christia here. Just so like another lava golem doesn't come down and I don't take another thousand next turn, so because then that would be super easy just to burn for game. And they set Dimension Wall Java Trio. And we get to summon Celestia here. That's pretty much game. Alrighty, so yeah, that was round one. Uh it was pretty easy. Orb and Christia were pretty nice to, to stop Battle Fader, so that was uh, pretty good there. Didn't really need Decree, you know, would be nice to have. So we are playing against, I think this was like dragons with plants. It was kind of like control dragons, but with plant engine. So they set Raiko. Now. Arceus is great here because if this is a Reiko, it can't pop anything. So we're just going to lead on that. And it happens to be the case, so they can only mill. They're going to summon Card Trooper here. And we're just going to kill the Card Trooper. Uh, this, wa this works pretty well here. Now we just, I think I storm, yeah. So they draw a card, and it's going to be over the quick draw. And I don't think I, I don't think I like that quick draw play. Cause they already had enough for pot, I believe. So you're just discarding titanium. I mean, I guess this doesn't really matter. But yeah, I don't. We're just trying to wall up against Arceus and got blown out by Celestia. Hmm. Not a fan. It's gonna get some mills on. We get Wolf out there. They're gonna pot now. They have bottomless and two prisons. It's a lot of traps. Not exactly what they're looking for. <laughs> they just set everything. I guess so, you know, really have to gamble with Lila, I guess. Hit a book. You know, they can't prison the wolf, so that's nice. That was Danny Lion. We got another wolf. So, yeah, it's kind of like, kind of plus a lot here. Uh, we can always summon Christia if we need to. Yep, there's Christia. We have four in grave. I got Psalm the Celestia. And. I think I just didn't want to walk into a Mirror Force. I believe. I could have. Uh, did I have enough? So I could have flipped a hamster, but then I wouldn't be able to summon Christia. As they won't walk into a mirror force again, so. And that's gonna be game. So, I guess a little closer than it really needed to be. I think I mess up, end up messing up, yeah. Pretty sure, yeah, so this hand is crazy. Uh, we have charge, solar recharge, solar recharge. I think this is all, yeah, if I open like this most of the day, I was just winning games. Oh yeah, so they dust shoot my Lumina. Uh, 
Arceus is great here, just so I don't get Caius, which they don't have, but we're going to Gold Star for JD. I think I have a lot of names in Grave. I already have four, so. Gonna go Kaiku, and then we just have Honest. Honest Arceus is a pretty nasty combo. And, yep. So we set Raiko here, just so I can, you know, pop a card, and then the turn I get JD, I get to summon Lila and pop something else. It's a little more efficient, rather than doing it the other way, where I throw Lila out there and get hit with, like, Bottomless or something, and then, um, then I can't really do Raiko the turn I get JD, so that's why I did it in that order. I just do Mill here. I think I was trying to hit four fairies. We we just hit the fourth one, I think. Yeah, we just milled the Christia, so. And Arcus is gonna go through, so now we're down to three fairies. I believe we still have enough names for Yeah, so I throw I threw Lila. Um this kind of plays around Solemn Judgment. So we can do Lila pop the uh the back row and then when they do Titanial, I can my body as a shield that. So my body shield gets popped. Um there's no real point of them using my body as a shield on my body is a shield because you know they're just gonna get blown up by JD anyways. So I'm gonna swing with JD, the middle double wolf, and here comes debris dragon, make black rose. And we have four fairies again, so we can summon Christia. We just run over both tokens. They mind crush honest. Um, yeah, I should have gold sark beforehand in case this was Raiko. Because now I don't want to like gold sark and not draw Chrissy as a little. This play there. Make it a fairy dragon. And they're gonna preempt preemptively crow. So I just dust you, or I gold stock for dust you just to get out of the deck. Don't really want to draw it. And they just drew this crow too, so that was kind of unfortunate. So we draw recharge. And we mill double soul release, so those being at the bottom of the deck is kind of unfortunate as well. And my body is a shield, but we're at 1500 life points, so not gonna be too useful. We did mill, or we discarded the Celestia, so we got us back to four fairies. Now, I kind of forgot that since I just recharged, I was only on one card left in deck, so I needed to summon this Honest and just attack, attack. And I didn't really realize that, because if they draw a monster, then I kind of just lose. So yeah, they drew a monster. I would have won if I had just summoned Honest the previous turn. And of course, now we, our last card was JD, so now we we have no more cards left. If I had one more card left in deck, then I could have won. But, um, yeah, I needed someone on Honest last turn to run over this token. And then this turn, actually, I would have lost anyways. Um, and yeah, that was actually because Vandy's feeling well. Technically, I can summon Orange Light attack over, yeah. So we can throw Orange Light out there, Orange Light attack over the set monster, and then Honest, and then Chrissy will have gotten every game. So, uh, a little miscues by me, not really managing the deck count and situation right, but. Wait, okay, yeah. But I know they have Vandy Sphine and Kaiku and such now, so. I kind of misplayed there, that situation. 
Uh, we open recharge here. So we just get rid of the Garroth. And we're just kind of honest. So we don't really have a way to follow up with kill the breaker. Yeah. Drew Wolf. Not really a big deal since we have Beckoning Light. And yeah, we're just kind of going crazy this game. Get back Celestia, pop. And that's just enough for game. So yeah, misplay game two kind of badly. But yeah. I also just kind of winged it going into this turn. I didn't really play this deck before. So just kind of going off the. Uh, player instinct, I guess, or just experience in the format, but yeah, you know, work on the, you know, deck count, situ oh, situational awareness. So they lead on Stratos at Ocean. This deck's weird. This is a uh, round three, by the way. Now, yeah, I don't think I should set Beckoning Light there. Maybe because I was thinking, man, my hands kind of sucks. Uh, so we're going to go Lila, pop the Torrential, L3. I think that's what well, I made this mistake a couple times in the turn. I was setting back in the light a little too early before I got my grave set up. We're just gonna run over the ocean so he can't get Stratos back. Draws Diva, gets Gilman, makes Android. I was like, bro, why does he just get Catastrophe? Yeah, I think this is a turn he messed up a lot. So on the attack, I'm gonna beckoning light, get on his back. How many freeze we got? One, and honest would be two. So, <laughs> main phase two, they miracle fusion when they know I got Celestia back, and they set brain control. I don't know what's going on here. So we just go Lila, pop brain control. Now Celestia is gonna be great here if I happen to mill one, or yeah, one fairy. But I milled two. And we don't play that many fairies, so that was a little unfortunate there. And yeah, so we drew Raiko and we got JD, so that's great. Blow up the field. I have to worry about Mother Grizzly. And I got rid of the Arcus to start off the draw it. And it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so I that was kinda like a weird gold star again. Like maybe maybe if they clear the JD it's worth just keeping the Arcus in deck, just have an extra card to draw. Just so I don't die. But it didn't really matter in that situation. But that might be a something to keep in mind. So I get kind of owned this game because I was not expecting them to have Light Mirror on the side. I was like, oh, this guy isn't playing any traps based off the first game, but this game he draws like all the traps. Because I don't think he drew a single trap in the first game. So I guess Flip Flop Frog is just teched as a, uh, I don't know, a compulsed guy you can keep on setting. There's no other frogs in the list as far as I know. Anyways, I'm going to get beat down by Gilman and his squad here. This is probably like worst case scenario. <laughs> we have Starlight Road, Light Mirror, Flip Flop Frog going second. And he had summoning all these guys. And I had Dust Shoot in the deck just because I was like, oh, he has so many cards in hand. So we draw heavy. And yeah, kind of just get cooked. So on to the third game. Yeah, I was 
So I brought the dust tornado in to deal with the limb, because again, I wasn't expecting so many back row that first or the second game, so. And we have JD in hand, so we're just trying to turbo out, get some names in the grave. So we're gonna discard the Herald, because and we cut the Dust Tornado. Cause we got Lila and we have Heavy Storm, so we just probably hold on to that. Their uh, Warrior of Atlantis is pretty big, so they set four. Uh, so we're just trying to kind of try out. First, it was probably worth Lila popping this to see if we snipe the road. Um, we can gold start for that getting light. Yeah, we have some nice cards in grave. We have Jade, so we would have we have two honest in grave and JD. Um, so they go for absolute zero here. That's fine. Dust tornado. Yeah, so we got rid of the road, so now we can safely go for Heavy Storm. And we have the My Body is a Shield for Absolute Zero, so that worked out nice. And... Yeah, I should have set the Mirror Force here. I didn't... For some reason I didn't set it because I was thinking, well, I want to hold it for Beckoning Light. But of course he draws Eva, so... Yeah, I kind of... Goof there. But like this beckoning light can just get back to JD anyways because it's going to be the one card I draw and then the next card when I set it. So yeah, that was just a bit mistake by me. Anyways, we mirror force the Cataster and just go for double JD and so on both for game. But yeah, I could have just mirror forced the Cataster and just won a turn earlier, I think, or it just went on the same turn, but yeah, that was a mistake by me there. So that was a interesting match to say the least. So I think I'm 3-0 at this point. Playing against Guts. And they are on... Oh, X-Sabers. So, starting hand's not the best. We have Wolf and Garroth. We do have JD, so that's nice. We just throw a card trooper out there just to get some mills. Get an extra draw. We drew recharge, so that's good. Get rid of the wolf. Gear out doesn't have beat over Sangan. We had a weird thing here to where after they search, then they're gonna go for trap dust shoot. So yeah, they're gonna return JD. I think I'm just gonna set those anyways because they they drew Summoner Monk, so I was gonna get blown out if I didn't do that. And I said the, well, yeah, we can just roar and then. So I guess they wanted to set the traps on because they saw I had roar. We go Cold Wave, chain beckoning, and they chain trap stun. So that was a little annoying. But we drew the Honest, which was great, to stop the Monk. We drew JD again. I don't know if... We do have four names. But we can just keep on going, doing Garroth beatdown because we have Roar here. And we're just going to Roar that. And then we charge for a guy. And that's gonna be enough for game. So there's someone giant right. So this was like I wasn't playing Aaron in my list, but you know, playing like against X Avery is it would be nice to have Aaron, so and then I played against Brother Grizzly last round, so not having Aaron kind of was costing me a little. So yeah, my hand's obviously not good. So I just kind of set Honest to wall up, but he has brain control. Kind of get blown out this game. 
I, uh... So yeah, I definitely messed up here. I think I just have to orange light this giant rat because then it just gets crazy. But then I, was, I, went, I only have uh, three fairies in grave, so yeah, I should just orange light this, but I didn't. I uh, also didn't really put into consideration that they could have Econ, so. Because I was saying I could just Honest to Urbellum, then, you know, make maybe make a Synchro play with the Lila and Harold next turn, make Brionic, and if I happen to draw a Fairy, then I can discard that, drop Christia. That's kind of what I was thinking, but again, I didn't really consider Book of Moon Econ. Uh, maybe it was worth harrowing the full Helm Knight. Yeah, probably just should have done that. But I think it's just a blowout regardless. Because now I'm going to get Gotham's hand ripped. Yeah, I think I just lost there regardless. Drew oppression a little too late. So, yep, now we're going first here. We have double recharge, so it's pretty good. We have a lot of traps. So we're just gonna set, set Mirror Force and Oppression. Draw a hamster, so we're gonna, you know, set that. They have the cross out for the hamster, which is a little annoying. Otherwise, Hamster would have been great just to wall out because, you know, x they don't really have high attack stats monsters, so Oppression, Hamster Woman, a deadly combo, but they did have the cross out. So I'm just going to get beaten up by Arabellum here. I think this is the turn I use Mirror Force. I was tired of getting wrecked by it. We uh, charge... We have, we, have, we have three fairies. So I can get uh, Christy online here if I want. So they burn the bottomless on the Lila. Then we summon Christia because we discarded that Herald. Um, didn't add Honest because we, we have two T Roars, so. Shouldn't really have to protect. And then if Lumina sticks around, then Celestia can kind of just go hard. Uh, he wants to keep his giant rat online. So he books a moon to Christia. So it's kind of like a neg too, because Christia is going to add back Celestia. And then he had a book a moon to Christia, which is still there. Uh, so yeah, they don't really have a whole lot going on here. I think we just T roar, yeah. And then we drew a second JD. I was like, oh my god. They're at 8,000, by the way. Um, so there's no point really using Cold Wave here. Uh, Celestia gets to turn to the defense, I believe, but it doesn't matter. We have double JD. Christia, attack for game. That's all she wrote. So that was a cool finish. And yeah, we still have a lot of cards left. I think their next. Car was trap stun. So, I think that's what they were looking for. Anyways, uh, so we won that one, so we're 4 0, I believe. Now we're now we're playing it. So, that first one was Quick Draw, and then on this one is the Dragon Plant deck. Got them all mixed up. So, I am aware they are on Dragon Plants. So you would say, hey, why wouldn't you set the hamster instead of Ryko? Well, this is why, because, you know, they're probably going to think, I'm setting hamster off the rip, but not the case. I set Ryko. I think I ended up making a mistake in this game as well. I think it's the second game. Um... So yeah, I was trying to get a little too cute here. 
I was trying to maximize my Garroth. So we summon Garroth, flip the Raikou to pop their Raikou, and then I get TT'd. Um, still puts a fairy or the uh, name in the grave, but I guess it, in the result it did clear Raikou and Torrential, so it wasn't really all that bad. I had to kind of go all out here just to summon Caius. Which is, you know, fine. We'll just take the 24. And. Yeah, we just summon Lila. Because I can pop a back row. We have Roar and we have Celestia. So, yep, they drew. Future Fusion, which is probably the best draw they could have had. Now they're going to go double Wyvern, but you know, we could just pop the Future Fusion and summon Celestia. I think at this point, both our hamsters are dead. No? Okay, it's still technically alive. And. I still can't summon JD because we only have three names in grave. So I was thinking I was hoping for the mill a name, but I didn't. Hit one. But now we got four names in grave, so we can summon JD. Blow up the field. Swing. And then we milled our last Reiko, so. Anyways, that's going to be a game. Now, I kind of goofed here. I just, I don't know. For some reason, I wasn't thinking, oh, I have Honest just to run over Titanial. But I kind of, like, I don't know. Freaked out, I guess. But yeah, I should have definitely kept the Herald just to run over Titanial. Uh, so I can Honest over it. So it didn't really go too well. They have Drago. So yeah, this looks like a terrible situation. Uh, but then we draw Jane. I, uh, yeah, this, I didn't want to throw Jane out there just yet. Just try to, clear the back row first. So, now, this, this is actually important, because I know they have Debris Dragon now. So we go, you know, Jane, just run over the Drago. Now, they were saying Think here, which obviously means, like, the only thing they can have is, like, Crow. For some reason. I don't know why they were thinking about... But this actually matters here, in, like, next turn. <laughs> so, obviously, I know they have Crow. And actually, here, I should have just done the Charge... Because I have Cold Wave. So I should have, you know, just worry about the fairy count. Uh, I have five fairies, so it doesn't really matter. So I should, okay, so I should have charged last turn. Uh, just to make Cold Wave live, but it doesn't really matter. Now, I shouldn't have grabbed Lumina. Because obviously, again, they were thinking last turn when they had nothing. So, and they had four cards in hand, so they've got... They have to have Crow, which they Crow Lila, which I should just grab some other Light Sworn. Not really sure what I was thinking. So yeah, that was kind of like a bad play. And we're gonna go Lumina Mill Wolf. I got Bottomless that. The amount of times I've just like Wolf, is like base Bottomless is kind of crazy. So yeah. I have a pressure set, so it's going to be great. I can kind of sit on it. And, you know, if they make Black Rose Dragon, I can just suppression it then. If they summon Red Med, I can just suppression it. So I don't really have to shotgun this on Debris Dragon on the off chance that they have something like My Body as a Shield to stop it. So we're going to pressure the Red Med. I'm going to speed over that. I'm gonna go swing, swing. And yeah, they just can't really. 
handle the the oppression. So yeah, I uh, I could technically deck out this turn, but I did have Cold Wave, so I can always Cold Wave my oppression. We're gonna chain beckoning. They're gonna crow. I'm just gonna add JD, so it doesn't. I mean, Celestia or JD will have one here. I just gotta pop the tokens and swing for game. So yeah, I guess I only lose to like a, actually I don't only lose the battle fader there. So now if I if they had battle fader and battle fader and crow there, they could have crowed the JD, and then I would have had like Lumina or Lila plus Celestia and then milled out. But I probably would have grabbed something else at that point. I could have just grabbed Christia again. Uh, but yeah, overall, nice W. I just kind of messed up with that Ly Illumina thing, because obviously they had Crow. So it wasn't too big of a fan of that. Next playing is Cold Madness, who I believe wins the whole tournament. They're playing Value Turbo. I think I just set the Hamster here, because, you know, not a whole lot else going on. We have Herald for a Kai's play. Which we do. And we have Cold Wave and Beckoning. So we go Ryko Pop first in case they have something like Oppression set. Now, again, this is where I set Beckoning and Light a little too early. I, I shouldn't have done that. I think I could have. Technically made it live. I don't know. I could have done this thing where I cold wave. No. Cold wave. I could have cold waved. Uh, they would have chained MST on my set, I guess. And then I would have beckoning, discarding Gore's Chrysia to get Chrysia Herald. Then I could have hamstered, set this, true both. Hamster Ryko for Chrysia. And. But then they could have. Well, they kind of dropped cores. They still have Mirror Force, though. So, yeah, maybe that was a mistake. That was a mistake by me. But one, setting the Beckoning Light early or not doing the Cold Wave play. So, it's going to beat up my small guys here. I think I was also overvaluing Gores here. So, they just top that trap dust shoot, which is a little annoying. We're just kind of turtling up here. You know, this Rekka is only really worth it if I mill two fairies, which isn't super likely in this build. We do hit the wolf, which will save me some life points. Yeah. They don't attack with Armageddon Knight because they know I have fours. We're gonna, you know, let Hamster summon the Reiko here. We're gonna. Yeah, so they just pop that. To get Gale here, go beat over the Garroth. Now, so at this point, I'm kind of thinking they have a D prison or bottom or bottomless set, but maybe it's like D prison bottomless is more likely than near force. So it's always always a little awkward when you have. Christia and Gale. 
Now I hear all the Gale here, but I probably shouldn't have done that because like if they just beat over the Christia, then you know, Christia goes back to the top, I can summon it again. Sure, they got bottomless, but it's just not a good situation. Now they got Mirror Force. So I guess I sniped the, well, it didn't really matter because bottoms can clear it anyways. So yeah, now now it's this awkward situation when Christy's going back to the top of my deck and then I don't have a way to uh, out it. And I think here I'm just dead regardless of having gores. I didn't set the T-Roar because I want to summon Gores so I can summon Christia potentially. But yeah, it didn't quite work out like that. Now we could technically still draw a JD here, which I don't, yeah, we didn't see any JDs up until this point. And we didn't, so yeah, a couple mistakes there, setting the Beckoning Light early and then harrowing the Gale. So some, those are like three things I kind of just need to get better with. It's the Christia plays, the Beckoning Light, and then the Herald plays. Um, which, yeah, I'm just not completely used to yet. So we mailed a Wolf here, which is pretty nice. Combination with Celestia. So we're kind of cooking. Let's set the Dust Tornado. Set the beckoning light. Cold wave. Chain beckoning. Add Celestia. JD. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're kind of going crazy this game. And we mill. So we needed to hit. We had two names. Three names. We had three names. So we just need to hit one more name. So then we can go in with JD. They're under cold wave. I have a Herald Honest. Um, so the only way they can, I mean, it's not in a good way. Yeah, so I just blow up the card trooper because it's not like they play Battle Fader and then, you know, JD attack. Oh, yeah, and then I can just Herald the uh, Garden Ungrave. So, pretty good game there. Cold Wave's crazy. Um, so they open a pretty crazy hand. They have Reiko Gale, Deck Dev Oppression, Solomon Heavy. Strange that they're keeping Heavy in. Because, uh, like, most of my stuff is chainable. So, what is this really doing? And my hand isn't really all that great. Uh, maybe I should have held the Lumina. So just so Reiko, I don't get I don't get juiced by Reiko, Hamster, Caius. But I don't think it really mattered. Cause they can still summon Sirocco regardless. They draw card trooper, which is unfortunate. Um Yeah. So I'm gonna lose Harold Card Trooper here. He's got some arm wing. Do all recharge. That's kind of annoying because, uh, like, obviously they're gonna solve this. Yeah, I think that's enough for game or close to it. So yeah, I think I just lose, yeah. Got nothing going on, so. Kinda get, they had a crazy opening, I didn't have a very good opening, so. Kinda that, so I think I'm 5-1 at this point. Playing against Frogs, I believe, yeah. Which should be a good matchup. This is like Frog Monarch with Danny Lion, I think.
So we uh we just gold sark for JD mill three. Uh, we have Lumina to get back to Lila, so we just mill some more. So that's why I kind of threw it out there. And if Lila sticks around, I could potentially Celestia play. So they go for a dupe block here. They had to burn brain control to do it though. And we go Garoth. We mill Wolf, so we draw and summon Garoth. And they're doing some frog things. Yeah, JD back, and then. They wanted to hold this auto art for JD. They hit the Celestia. So I don't think I, yeah, I don't have enough names yet. So Celestia, so I have three names. So I needed to hit one more name. Uh, so they go Rise up, spin back. Raiko. They didn't attack. Uh, just because so I don't get another name in the grave. Because otherwise I'll put me JD live and then I don't really have to wait to deal with JD. So they summon Lad here, which and I happen to draw Lila, which is great. Because the Light Swarms the Light Swarm monsters and Honest both drain Lad down to nothing. Which I guess they didn't know that, but that's how it works. So I'm gonna get this Lila Mill regardless and then Garoth. And then they summon Caius, which you know, damage is already kinda done. I guess summon JD. We're just gonna pay again just to swing for three thousand. They have dust shoot, but it's not gonna do anything. So I set one for one just to, uh, I guess, try to bait uh, a JD pop or something. It's not doing a whole lot. Three, four. So <laughs> uh, Christy is alive, so that's this game. So it's funny, I just drew it and then it just happened to be alive. That's kind of like the nice thing about this build is that, you know, you're not over milling fairies very often, so Chrissia is usually going to be a pretty nice top deck if you um, get to the mid to late game. So they just do the swap bounce thing. Our hand looks pretty nice here. We got Christia, Lumina, Charge, Gold Sark. It's about everything you want. We did mill the Garoth, so that was pretty nice. We didn't have to you know, grab it back. Um, didn't really want to swing with Garoth in case I had fours. But me, I should have. Well, it's kind of weird. I draw one there. Now, I just, I think I beckoning light the Vortex because, you know, we have JD in Grave. So don't necessarily need JD. We have Chrissia. We set beckoning so now we can get some stuff back. JD, Christia. Um, now you can argue that I, sh I should have maybe. I should have added back Harold instead of Christia. Or Harold instead of. Yeah, so. Anyways, I should have got Harold back probably, because we have we have enough names for JD. Or we, if one of these die, Garoth or Lumina, then I have enough names because I got three names: we got Raiko, Lila, Arcus. Now, what I couldn't afford is this play where they summon Caius, banish, and then they bounce with swap. So this kind of puts me in a pickle. We draw another Christia, so a little annoyed there. And then, so yeah, now I'm stuck on three names and dead Christia and JDs. We draw Lightning Vortex, so now I, you know, I can actually, since I drew a Light Swarm, I can summon Jane, but it wasn't ideal. 
Um, so we go swing, swing. Bill Wolf. That's a set up dupe block here. So how many fairies we got? We got three. Okay. So yeah, they Celestia is gonna be the fourth name because I didn't mill a fairy. Then we just we don't honest so we can summon Christia, get back the Herald. And then you know, we're just going to attack mode here. draw JD, which is normally a great draw, but we can't summon it, so. We draw a wolf, so I just need to get, like, something else, like another guy to attack with, just to beat over his stuff for game, but um, it would be a great situation if they had Vandy swing, but they don't, because they can't, they can go bring control of Vandy swing, but uh, we set the MST in case they draw, like, a discard trap, which they just drew. And yeah, so yeah, I kind of messed up with like that beckoning light again. Should have made just added back Harold just so I can make sure I summon JD rather than try and go for like the kill shot with Christia JD. So mistake by me there. Anyways, so I think this is the last round of Swiss against Extremo. It's against X Sabers again, so I don't think I ever played against Sabers twice in a tournament. I don't don't even recall if I played against them ever in a tournament, so kind of a spooky matchup. So they open Dust Shoot. Um I think I get juiced this game, so they bounce back the honest, I believe. Uh we just do card trooper mill. And isn't so they bounce back honest, so Orange Light's dead. Um, draw Lila off the card trooper, and they're going to pop my T Roar. And they're going to book them in Lila. And I got them, so I'm just getting cooked. Just getting, and they just drew the Fall Troll. Oh my god. I was probably dead regardless, but yeah, they're just having a pretty nice hand there. So I get destroyed. Now I destroy them back with this hand because I got charge, JD, recharge. It's, it's this crazy hand. So we get Lumina. Hoping we hit like a Garoth or something. Um, we do hit, we do Garoth, so. I'm trying to think if there's like a a reason to not get Lumina. I think I was just trying to get Lumina to just get like if I hit like another if I mill like a Lila or draw a Lila then I'm going to be milling a lot so that'll make JD live. We get Garoth here. Mill two. So nothing crazy off Garoth. So they go Cold Wave here. I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> they probably would have been better off just setting their traps, but they cold wave. I'm like, okay. Lumina get the fourth fairy in grace, I'm Christia, that is true. And then that's this game. So it kind of cooked there. So they're going first this time. They open Dust Shoot again, going first. So that's, that's great. Go reasoning. I call it three because, because like, there's so many X A ranked monsters with level three. They have Kaiku in their deck. I don't remember if this is the main deck card or not, but so they does shoot the Lila and so they know my hand. I guess they thought maybe I could just like vortex the Kaiku. And have Lila from the mill, so maybe they're overvaluing me milling, but now I just summon Garoth and speed over Kaiku. They drew Arabellum. 
But I can just chain T Roy here. And they rip the Vortex. They didn't rip uh, Herald, so I can just make Brionic and spin the Gotham's and Pogue. They didn't draw anything. Your Wolf wishes is dead, so we're just gonna keep on poking. And we have, <laughs> they're at 33.50, and this is just enough for game. They just drew a bunch of normal summons after that. Uh, their next card was Mind Control, so I probably would have gotten cooked if had they drawn that. But they didn't, so yeah. We uh, managed to make it here to top 8, finish 7-1 overall in Swiss. And we're going against Tyterabian, I don't know, I can't really spell. They're on value turbo as well. So my hand isn't really that good. And I didn't really want to risk them having, you know, like another uh, more gruffer pitches. So I just passed on that, which they would have drawn plague. So they do have Armageddon Knight. Just, I guess I would have been cooked more if they able to do that. Can't really just leave Greffer chilling on the field. I don't know. Maybe they're thinking, you know, if I drop Gores here, then they can just dark end it. I think that was the line they were going for, but they summon Armageddon in main phase two. We draw recharge, which was needed. And I'm like, man, I, uh, so if I summon any Big Light Sworn into JD, I'm kind of cooked, or into a Bottomless, which they do have. I'm cooked. Um, so I just kind of need Arceus here to get some mills, fill the grave some. Uh, I do have Beckoning and Light, so Wolf, Raiko's two names, and I have Double Honest. So I can, I if I can keep this Beckoning and Light and Arceus in play, I can live a couple turns, because they can't really deal with that. And they did have brain control, so I literally lose if I get any other lights worn other than uh, Arceus, probably. <laughs> and they can't even dark end it. So they just make Stardust. So some back row. Um, again, so we have to wait a turn. Because if I just summon Celestia running out there, I might not hit enough names, and then, yeah. And then we have Beckoning Light like, to fix her hand even more so. So we milled Wolf, which is actually really important here. Because they drew Armageddon Knight. So they can just do Armageddon Knight. Uh, well, they can summon Arm Master, so they can do... I think they can, yeah, they could Plague Stack too. So pretty much if I didn't mill Wolf here, I might have actually lost because... They can, get some, they can just do Armageddon Knight, run over Arcus, and then add the Honest, um, and then they can just run it over with something else. So they get Necro Engrave. So this is where I, I think I messed up Beckoning Light again. So I should have, yeah. What's this? That woman, three fairies, or uh, not fairies, so light swarm monsters. Say Arcus, Wolf. Yeah, so I should have just kept the uh, Celestian Grave and added back Herald. Because then I could summon JD, because right now I have two names in Grave, and if Arceus dies, then that's the third name, and Celestia is the fourth name. Um, can maybe argue that they keep Arceus on the field? I'm not sure. Probably not. Um, yeah, it's kind of a weird situation. Should have just added back the Herald over Celestia. That's why I would have the four names in Grave. And then 
any point, JD double honest is probably just game. But we had to go Celestia to bait Stardust to summon JD. Now we draw Cold Wave, which probably wins me the game. <laughs> uh, pretty crazy draw. Card was insane all weekend. And we were able to keep a light swarm on the field, so Celestia is going to get negated, and then that lets me summon JD. We milled the fourth name anyways with Lila, so they're going to negate. Because if they didn't negate that, then they just lose on the spot. They do, well, they had Necrogrind, so they wouldn't have lost on the spot, but. They go negate. Now I have to. Just JD pop. Now, maybe there's an argument to not summon Lila here. What does this play around? Because, like, I was thinking maybe that they probably have brain control in hand because, like, they haven't played it, like, all game. So if they go, like, pretty much, like, I lose regardless to brain control JD with Guy, like another monster. So Lila doesn't really do anything here. I don't think. Actually, summoning Lila is probably worse here in case they have, they have brain control Caius. Oh, they can stack for play anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Um... Uh, Yeah, I don't know. We probably just don't summon Lila here. Uh, so they have to do this play just to put me under 500. So yeah, this would have been great if I had Lila. Because then I could just pop the back rope. I didn't. Um... Uh, so yeah, then I could have just done like, Lila pop D prison, JD attack plague. Go draw another D prison, and then I could have just Celestia. So yeah, holding the Lila would have been good. And we just had to tribute Celestia, but <laughs> can't pop because we didn't tribute a Light Swarm. And then like he didn't have a Rota target. Uh, yeah, having another Greffer would have been bad there, but he burned through double Greffer. Wait. Oh, double armor again. Okay. That's a normal double guard for double armor. And they were used Necrogardner, so. And I was out of Rakos, so we just attack with double hamster. But yeah, I should have. Um, kind of messed up the. Hero, or the. Um, the Beckoning on Light again. And I shouldn't have summoned Lila. So that was kind of like. Some things there in that game. But we won that first game. That's good. Now, this was really unfortunate. We're going to get juiced by deck death here. Now, my deck doesn't really play that many guys I get hit with deck devastation virus. So I just happen to open four of them and, yeah, pretty much die. Now you could say, well, yeah, Wolf is dead in hand. This could have been like a uh, Soul Purity and Light, but it literally doesn't matter because he has D Prison and he yeah, the God Hand. <laughs> Dad in hand, not a good formula. So, yeah, not the best hand here. We do have Lila, T Roar, so. With his starting roar, just to keep Lila on the field for some more turns. Drew the recharge. Um, so we pop the back row, and just make Goyo. And then we get some more mills with the card trooper. Maybe not set the MST here. I don't think it ended up mattering too much. But at worst, it could just be another card to discard for Vortex. They go for a Black Rose play here. Uh, so they have Mirror Force, Sirocco, Raiko. Now I could've... This Lila popped. We do have Mirror Force back up, so we'll 
able to mill three. Maybe that leads into like a Celestia play. That was just a, probably like an oversight mistake. I have like a lot of back row hate. Probably just don't need Dust Tornado. That was kind of like a error by me, I guess. Um, draw Hamster, which is normally good. But they got the Raiko. Yeah, they didn't have the Raiko there, the Hamster would have gone crazy. We do have a nice Mirror Force play. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't low enough on life to where that was an up game. I think I would have been at 500 if they summoned Armed Wing. Uh, but, yeah, it would have been nice. Now they draw Gores here. Um, so we Vortex. Now... I haven't seen JD or Christia yet this whole game, and I've so that's just, that's four cards out of eighteen. Um, so that's almost a twenty-five percent chance of drawing one of those cards. Now you can say, well, it's even less likely that they drew Gores, like one out of twenty cards as their top deck. So, not really sure if Honest Swing here is bad or not, because. So I swing with Honest here, and then I top deck JD is this game next turn. Um, yeah, it's a little hard to say. So yeah, they did top deck Gores. And they didn't really have anything else going on for them. I think that's like literally the only card at loose to... I guess Burial would have been bad too. I don't even know if I lose the burial though, because they only have one value. Anyways, that was a little frustrating. Um, so we draw wolf. Um, yeah, it's just a little awkward. I don't because like you can say, well, waiting around is probably just as worse because theoretically I could have just gotten. A couple, of poke, couple pokes in with Honest, and who knows, that would have been game, or vice versa, like, oh, um, you know, if if I didn't attack, and, you know, could have said, like, oh, man, four pokes in a row with Honest was game or something, or you poke with Honest a couple times, you draw Jane or something, and that's, like, enough for game. Uh, yeah, it's a little tough. Um, but, yeah, that was our... Loss in top eight. Overall, turn was good. I uh, think the deck's pretty good. I just made some mistakes here and there, which I think could be brushed up on and cleaned up. Uh, but yeah, overall, the tournament was fun. So if you made it this far. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll catch you all in the next one.